How's it going, Penny? Yeah, what, AJ? You're up and hide and keep quiet, okay? Why? Yeah, that was close. What you doing? Uh, yeah, you know, I'm just, uh, I guess I might as well come clean. Take a look over there. And do you get it now? Uh, you're spying on your friends. A little context would be nice. Uh, sorry, your jump scare earlier completely frazzled me. My brain's still trying to reboot. I get that. All right, here's the sitch. Uh, Team Star been starting to come to school again. Yeah, I've, I've met some of them around. They seem pretty nice. But I don't know if you're if they're gonna fit in okay, and it's been playing on my mind, you know. So I'm checking on them from over here. So you're still looking after them from a distance instead of just talking to them. Okay, cool. <laughs> I guess we're still not exactly getting a warm welcome here, huh? Well, duh. Sure, the teachers finally figured out we're not a bunch of delinquents. But it's not like we can press the magic button to make everyone else accept us. Talk to them. True story. We gotta fix this. My man, time for my... Uh, time for a change attack. Oh, uh, what's he gonna do? Uh, change attack? Whenever they're gonna start wearing normal school uniforms so they're, they stop scaring off the other kids. I kind of I kind of hoped we would see them in uh, more normal uniforms. Still something of their original designs but you know more normal just just to shake up their designs a little bit but apparently that's not gonna happen oh my mom already you're both really trying they're both really trying their best to fit in here at school they're really not um, but they really shouldn't have to that much you know it changed attack huh what exactly are you suggesting but I mean uh how about we say a big friendly howdy to everyone here like just yell it, loud as we can. Yeah, I'm with Ortega. What? That's stupid. Hey, go on and embarrass yourself if you want, but count me out. Uh, yeah, that idea seems a bit off. Hold on, let me explain. You know Rhyme, right? Uh, she does this at her concerts, no joke. Of course he's a fan. If the crowd ain't hyped at the start of the show, she'll shout the loudest greeting you've ever heard into the mic, like, sup, y'all, or whatever. List the mood like nobody's business. Yeah, but they expect that they're at a at a performance. Yeah, that makes sense, because they're kind of, Yeah, see, me and Ortega are on the same page today. This is school. It's different. Okay, smart guy. So we're opting for the cold shoulder treatment forever, then, are we? No, just go talk to people. No, that'd totally suck. Though I guess screaming in the library would be a good icebreaker, maybe? It would, wouldn't it? So yeah, our only option is to yell at everyone so they know we're nice. That, okay. Here, yeah, I'm gonna go for it. Hey, morning, y'all! How we all feeling today? Oh no, what are you doing? This is so embarrassing. Everyone having a good time? Come on, Ortega, you gotta do it too. Hold on a sec, you're just practicing for your DJ set, aren't you? Thanks for coming tonight! Quick say it. Th thanks for coming tonight! Hey, what do you mean, thanks for coming? We're not hosting anything. What on earth? Are those the guys from Team Star? What the heck are they yelling for? Is this some kind of skit? Hey, they're pretty funny. I guess they're not as scary as I thought. This can't be working. No way. P people are actually warming up to them. Why? That makes zero... It really does make zero sense. But okay, sure, whatever. <laughs> Momo and Ordi really are operating on a different level. I'm kind of amazed. Random Starly? Cool. Seems uh, all my worrying was for nothing, huh? Now that that's settled, I guess I should get going. Hasta la vista. Yeah, back at you. She's weird, but I like her. Where should I go next? And you can never have too many Pokeballs, right? So I might as well... How much money do I even have left? 
Oh, I've got a lot. Okay, we're good. Uh, grab some more Ultra Balls, I guess. Yeah, it seems fine. Boop. And... Oh, hey, uh, Penny. How's it going? Oh, hey, AJ. I'm checking on Atticus. He was not there a second ago. So, keep your voice down, okay? Uh, whisper, whisper. <laughs> it's funny. Hmm. I must say, the Academy Emporium stocks some rather splendid wares. I admit my expectations were far lower than warranted. Wow, he really seems to have taken a shine to the school store. It doesn't seem like he'll notice us anytime soon, so I guess there's no point in whispering. Uh, okay. You know, of all my team star friends, it's Atticus I'm worried will have the most trouble fitting in. Yeah, I can see that. Greetings, my good shopkeep. I would very much like to acquire the limited edition ninja garments released today. Is he supposed to be a ninja? Uh, he's purple. <laughs> like, bright, pinky purple. <laughs> I believe you have five sets in stock, yes? Ah, uh, the ninja cosplay set? I'm sorry, dear, but someone just bought the last two from us earlier. We're completely sold out. What? This cannot be! If I am unable to procure those garments, why, I... And that will ruin everything. It appears I have no choice but to track down this rival patron of mine, and when I find them... Assassinate them with my poison! I shall fix them with my piercing... Yeah, okay. Beg on my head... Beg on bended knee for the ninja garments I so crave. What? Since when is Atticus this hot? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, sure. Not really my type, but I can see it for you. Um, wait, no focus. <laughs> Betty's a little thirsty. It's cute. If he starts paying some kid for a ninja outfit, people are gonna think he's weird. People already think he's a weirdo. Let's let's not kid ourselves. He dresses like that. But like, being a weirdo isn't like a social death sentence anymore. We should stop him, right? Let's just see how this pans out. I think I think we're good. <laughs> Seriously, but oh, Don Atticus, here you are. I had a feeling this was coming, actually. My young compadre, I I must apologize about the garments I promised you, so that we might dress as ninja together. Oh yeah, I got us covered. I already brought two sets of ninja cosplay stuff for us to wear. I beg your pardon. When I came here earlier, the shopkeeper later was putting them out on the shelves, so I bought one for you and one for me. You, uh, you know how popular these, they can't be popular, that's not physically possible. I was super lucky to be able to snag them. Now come on, let's go play ninja outside. Goodness me, what a happy turn of events. I shall retire at my shuriken... I shall retrieve my shuriken... Yeah, yeah, that, that didn't make sense. So we might enjoy some target practice. Oh, awesome! Yeah, teach the kid to throw knives, that's, that's cute. I could also use my masterful stitchery to transform nine ninja garments into a sublime vision of poison. What do you say? Uh, I'm good, thanks. <laughs> uh, the insolence of this one. Well, it was good he plays with his with his kid friends. Not to sound weird or anything. Phew, it looks like we were able to wrap. He was able to wrap this up uh, without making a scene. But more importantly, Atticus has already made a friend at school. No, they were friends before that. Kind of makes me feel bad that I thought I had to spy on him. Uh, anyway, I, I guess I'll be going. Ask if he's... Yeah, okay. So these are all just going to be this, I guess. <laughs> just checking on her and on her different friends. Uh, where is she at now? Art room. I guess we can follow her to the art room. We can stalk her to the art room. Do I have any business here? Can I even pretend? No. All right, let's just let's just go. Oh God, muck! Get out of the way, man. Why is there a muck? In, why is it so hard to navigate this room? Oh, because there are stools behind the table that I didn't see. <laughs> How you doing, AJ? Um, good. I've never been inside. The yeah, you have. I've seen you here. Or was it here that saw her here? I don't remember. I've never been inside the iron before. It smells like paint in here, but in a good way. Uh, what brings you here? I ask, as if I didn't follow you here, knowing exactly what you're up to today. Um, well, I'm worried about this rumor that's going around. People are saying Team Star is planning to raid the art room or something. 
It's probably just rubbish made up by some kids who are still scared of Team Star, though. My friends would never do anything like that, and who would want to raid the art room anyway? I mean, fair question. I can't think of anybody who would want to do that. Your friends are kind of weird. Why am I getting a notification? Go away. Dumb phone. Knock, knock, we're coming in. God, they actually showed up. I mean, they have class, you don't know. Wow, this Star Raptor is incredible. It's <laughs> just like it's about to attack with close combat. I love that Star Raptor is a flying type, but it's so well known for having close combat on its moveset that that's what everybody associates with it. Hey, you with the art, the art club or what? Uh, y yeah, I am. Uh, don't tell me the rumor is real. Are they actually going to raid the art room? No way. There's no way. They wouldn't. And we should just keep watching. So, um, did did you need anything? Uh, yeah. I'm. I mean to ask. You know, if 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 you got any last words, punk. It's clearly not what this says. No way. It's a raid. This is literally a raid. Oh, well, knock it off, Melly. Being shy is one thing, but you can't go around threatening people to cover you. Yeah, you, you, yeah, you can. You just shouldn't. There's a difference. Right. Sorry, Harry. My bad. So, uh, about your club. The art club, I mean. Yeah, they know what you mean. I, um, I was wondering if I could join. Oh, you wanted to ask about club membership? Sheesh. You had me scared there. Yeah, we're open to any students who want to join, but, uh... Yes, isn't that great, Melly? Hang on, Harry. This guy's still got something to say. Spit it out, then. I gotta earn my way in or what? I know, it's just, I was hoping I could ask what prompted you to go for the art club, that's all. You're asking me why I want to join? Well, if I gotta explain, one of my pals made this outfit for me, these sick boots and everything. I'm uh, big on flame patterns like this, so I want to try and make something like it myself. So yeah, painting, that's what I want to do. I'm a total newbie at it, but... I realized something when I saw that real simple looking Fletchling painting on the wall there. <laughs> so cute too. I don't have to be a genius artist, I just uh, want to make art and that has its own charm, you know? Uh, the Fletchling painting? Um, I did that one. That, that was yours? I thought it was like a finger painting by a kindergarten or something. <laughs> yeah, I get that all the time. Our brother's paintings are real lovable because he's real simple, everyone says so. <laughs> Ah, you're the art club's president? I can already tell we'll have a lot of fun in the club. No, this isn't... No, they're just insulting each other, man. Your boots are awesome. Can I get a closer look? The, the name's Mella, and yeah, good eye. My boots are the best. A pal of mine who's a big arts and crafts nerd made them for me. So the raid was just a misunderstanding. Well, that's a relief, but wow. I didn't know that Melly wanted to join the art club. I can't wait to see what Melly paints. I bet it'll be something amazing, huh? Yeah, I guess. Yeah. Cat <laughs> Harry, how'd you get? How'd you know we were here? Wait, were you supposed to be hiding? I was wondering what was going on. You were just kind of hanging out over here in the open. But you don't need to worry anyway. Melly's been too nervous to notice you. Wow, so even Melly gets the jitters sometimes. Trying new things is scary for everyone. That's why I came with her for moral support. But you know, I think she'll be just fine. And she's not the only one doing something new. That Carmen and I have started up a wrestling club. Yeah, I bet you have. <laughs> but Millie will have a blast here, I'm sure. So I gotta keep up with her. I'll enjoy the time I have left at the academy as much as I can. Uh, anyway, it was nice bumping into you both. Hostile of Star. Cool. That's all of them, right? Yeah. Mm, Melly and Ari are putting themselves out there, aren't they? I... I guess I'll head off to you. I'll still star. Okay. Let's go see what else we can... God dang it, this room. Let's see what else we can do today. Oh, she's in one of the classrooms, too. Let's go talk to her there, too. Classroom for STEM students. I'm totally not still... Oh, no, I don't want to go... No, I don't want to go anywhere. Just let me... Can I not walk to the left here? 
Well, that's stupid. Go this way, then. And uh, hey, I'm still... I'm totally not stalking you, still. No, hey, AJ. I'm not going to my classroom. All the students here are in the STEM track like me. So, uh, there's something I want to talk to you about. Uh, but not here. Let's go somewhere where we can talk in private. Okie dokie. Maybe back to my dorm. Or to her dorm. Okay. That's cool. Is this like a visitable place now? Or something? Look at all, look at all, of, her, all of her animals. I love it. Kind of reminds me of my house. This is my room. Make yourself at home. Uh, it's nice and cozy in here, I say, with a forced smile. I know, right? Being surrounded by my VVs and my figurines is my kind of heaven. She really gets me, man. Anyway, you must be wondering why I brought you here. It's about my Team Star friends. They, they really mean the world to me. I love them all so much that I got scared they weren't going to fit in okay or be happy at school. That's why I've been sort of spying on them since they came back. You have, have you? But it turns out I didn't need to worry. They're already having a great time. And now I feel bad that I didn't have it in me to believe in them in the first place. They've all grown so much, but I haven't changed since Operation Starfall. I'm still scheming up ways to fix things by myself instead of having a little faith. It's only natural to worry. They're your friends. You, you really think so? That's a normal thing for friends to do? Yeah, you just gotta realize when it, get, it goes too far, and it seems like you have. I feel better after talking out with you. Thanks, AJ. And, um, I want you to know you're really important. You're a really important friend to me, too. After all, we did, like, have a life and death battle at each other's sides, right? Tends to bond people. That goes for Nimona as well, and even Arvin and Crydon. You know, I don't normally like having people in my room. But you're an exception. Stop by for a chat or whatever anytime. Cool! Till our next confab, then. Hasta la vista. Cool. Um. I like the Pokemon merch on the wall. This is probably Pokemon merch, too. Yeah. Alright, it won't let me talk to him, but, like, Leafeon kind of turns a little bit. Or is that just an animation it does? Can I talk to you guys? Uh, instant food. <laughs> she really does live just like me. She's a gremlin like I am. Um, this was black in the bathroom, and that's the one with the highest defense. So, like, that's, that's going to make it difficult. And I can talk to this one. Hi. Very cute. I like it. Team Star thing on the wall. Big ass computer. Very nice. Alright, um, can I talk to her again? I like any better than chilling in my room with my VVs. Feel free to stay a while. Um. Trying to see. It looks like those are. Are those like DVDs or are those more figurines? I'm, I'm sure they're a reference to something. I want to I wanna actually get a look at the assets in this room. Very curious. Might as well get something to eat after stalking my friend for um, hours. Um, hey, here's a new friend to stalk. Uh, yo, AJ, you grabbing something to eat too? Man, you should give me a beating in that Academy Ace tournament. Yeah, sorry about that. It seems like all my closest buddies are in another league, you know? I mean, look at you. And you just up and became a champion in your first year to boot. Yeah, I do that. You know, it's pretty amazing, right? And then there's Demona, top marks in every class at school, and she's champion rank too. And I hear Penny's got some kind of offer to work for the Pokemon League or something. I seem to be the only average one around here. Nothing special about me. Uh, you're good at cooking? Nah, I mean, it's just like a hobby, really. I only learned how to do the basics because my mom wasn't around to cook for me. That's sad. Wait, my mom! See, now that Mabostiff is doing so much better, and, so and I'm trying to do like a less, less obnoxious version of the voice I gave him, and it's just not working. Ever since the treasure hunt, 
And and, and and since the treasure hunt is still going and all, I've been thinking about you, Gold, to find myself. And I guess you've uh, really got to start by knowing where you come from, which means I should learn about my mom, right? Uh, she was a student at the school once, too. That's what I heard. I'm going to search the whole school for info about what kind of person she really was. Thanks for the, the inspiration, little buddy. Alright. Um, I'll come with you, then. Why not? I assume there could be multiple stages to this, too, right? Yeah, here we go. Yeah. Running drunk through the room. AJ, boy, did you pick a great moment to stop by. Take a look at this. This is supposed to be a sample from my mom's research from back when she was a student. Yeah, that's what Director Covell told me. He's been helping me out since in the in the 30 seconds it took you to get here. And when Sada was a student at this academy, I was still a... Uh, stop flickering, textures. Stop it. <laughs> still, I'm a researcher myself. God, that's weird. That's that's like one of the, that's like practically the worst visual glitch I've seen in the game though. So I, I feel pretty lucky actually. Among my peers, it was already uh, being bandied about that an astonishingly gifted uh, that was okay. I don't know what that word means. That uh, was studying at Narana Academy. And so she really was amazing right from the start, huh? I guess really, I guess I never really questioned it. But why is your office uh, full of all this equipment? Oh, so you finally noticed, have you? This room was once your mother's research lab. Interesting. He has a Pokemon bat over there. What Pokemon does he have in here? It was? Yeah, from what I've heard recounted, she apparently uh, would become so absorbed in her research that she hardly ever returned to her dorm. She spent most nights sleeping here, in fact. I also find myself more at ease surrounded by uh, such research equipment, so I took the liberty of adapting the room to serve as my office. I never knew. And all these pieces of my mom's life, they were right in front of me this whole time. I spent so long trying not to think about uh, her that I never even noticed until now. Thanks for telling me about this, Director Clavel. Hey, AJ, your arm's disappearing and reappearing. It's really unsettling. Um, also, thanks for being here with me to learn about this stuff, too. All right, bye. Ah, uh, Master Arvin, I also intended to explain about these trophies here. And he's already gone. Rather hard to pin down, isn't he? Uh, like a flash, as soon as some new thought crosses his mind. Yeah, he's definitely got ADD. My dear Seda. I think that son of yours takes after you a very great deal. So they were friends, clearly. What are these trophies, actually? Never really thought about going around to the other... It doesn't even tell me. Going around to the other side of this. What Pokemon bed is this? Your dad doesn't tell me anything either, right? Sure, just... Oh my god! Miss when Pokemon operated on a grid system. All right, so he's in the entrance hall now. There he is. You reading the Scarlet Book? I am not talking to you. Go away. Yo, champ, come and get the books. Just pass it through. What? You just felt like chilling or climbing all those stairs to train your legs or something? No, I just like books. And I was stalking you. Oh, you want to know why I'm here? Uh, yeah. I'm still working on my own little treasure hunt. I tried to decide, or tried to find myself and all. While I was here in the entrance hall, digging through my mom's research reports, I found this on one of the bookshelves. This book was so precious to my mom that she even kept a copy of it in the lighthouse lab. The Scarlet Book. That's what it's called, right? This is my first time really reading the bits that aren't about the Urban Mystica. They're amazing. I mean, it all sounds super fake, but it's got all these cool pictures, and it's real fun to read. Like, look at this entry here. Yeah, I saw that. The disc Pokemon. While separated from the research team in the crater's depths, I found a strange entity. Whether it was a Pokemon or even alive at all, I know not. It bore a shell with layers of overlapping hexagons and gleamed brighter still than gemstone. Viewed as a whole, it resembled a mysterious, brilliant disc. And we think that's going to be the third legendary that's going to show up in the DLC. Possibly a new, new form of Zygarde. 
if the DLC is heading the way that people in the community are, are theorizing. I'm very excited to find out. Um, I might actually do a video about this, like summing up what the theories are. It wouldn't be any of my own content, it would just be like, like compiling what's out there in the community together, but it's pretty interesting stuff. The text on this page is all smudged and blurry in every copy of the book I've ever seen. Uh, it seems kind of suspicious, right? Uh, and of course, the whole book is full of unbelievable stories, the urban mystery being one of them. They turned out to be real. And after everything we saw in Area Zero, well, it makes it hard to say it's all nonsense, huh? Yeah, I'll definitely have to look into that at some point. AJ is a researcher, after all. That's primarily what she does. In fact, I think it might have been this book that made my mom want to become a researcher. I bet she got so fixated on the ancient Pokemon that she read about in here that it made her want to see one for herself. Uh, wait, hold on. Oh, he's, is he putting, he's putting it together. This is a question I have, too. Isn't my mom's time machine the whole reason the ancient Pokemon ended up here in the first place? This book is from way before she made the time machine, but it mentions ancient Pokemon. Isn't that kind of weird? Hey, are we going to get an answer to this here? Or will that be a DLC thing too? Because my best guess is that the Area Zero creator was made by the ancient weapon from Kalos. I mean, Area Zero has the same initials as AZ, the guy who fired it in the first place, right? And that it somehow ripped open a hole in time, and the time machine just allowed them to kind of control that, to kind of funnel it into one place and decide when it happened. And also speed up the process that ancient Pokemon can still leak through on their own, but that it happens at a more manageable rate, so it's not a danger, right? It's, it's become part of the natural ecosystem of the crater. Didn't think there was going to be, like, lore in this episode. Oh, well, I'm sure it's all just made up anyway. It's clearly not. But my mom believed that nonsense and even managed to make it a reality. I guess she really was something. I'm going to learn from her example and start giving it my all, too. I've got something i got to do now, but I'll see you around, little buddy. All right, bye. Um, keep following him. I want to get all this story stuff out of the way. You know right now if I can. Well, there's one for Nimona too. Ah, I definitely have to do that. Okay, so this is following the same pattern as the Penny one then. Mm, howdy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I was so focused. Or I was focusing so hard, I didn't even notice you, bud. I know, I know, pretty rare to see me actually studying, right? But I, I didn't know anything about your study habits, frankly. But I made a pretty good stopping point. How about a break? I could use change of scenery. Okay, do I get to see his dorm room, too? Not really my thing, going back to a guy's dorm room, but, you know. Food stuff? Okay, not at all unexpected, frankly. Those look good. Ooh, there's a... Ooh. Hey, what do you think? Welcome to Shea Arvin. Uh, well, Shea Arvin and Bust, if really... It really screams Arvin. Is that, like... I was like, manga over there? Oh, he's got a picture of... Oh, he's got a picture of Mbostiff when he was still, uh... Mastiff? It's called Mastiff, right? Oh, that's cute. Hey, yeah, I know, right? What... Wait, what screams are even the food? Anyway, uh, about the reason you saw me studying in the classroom like that. I went back and read the pages about the Urban Mystica in the Scarlet Book again. It made me remember how things were back when Bostiff was all weak and everything. I couldn't seem to do anything to help him, and boy, it sure didn't feel good. Of course, I'm, I'm really glad that I was able to find all the Urban Mystica together with you. But there's gotta be other people... Oh, he's gonna become a... Oh, that's so cute. Uh, worrying about the Pokemon uh, that are sick and hurt. So, I, uh, don't laugh, okay? I've decided I'm gonna become a cook. I'm gonna make super healthy food, bursting full of stuff the Pokemon need to feel great. I'll be behind you all the way. That sounds fantastic. That's perfect. Yeah, thanks. I knew I could count on you to be all supportive like that. The culinary world might be a bit different, but I swear I'm gonna be just as famous as my mom. 
So I guess I can close the book on my uh, little hunt to find myself. It's time to start a new chapter, and uh, one that's all about working together for my dream. And hey, feel free to stop by my room anytime. Yeah, it's probably not going to happen as much as, like, say, Nimona's, but I'm mean, assuming we get Nimona's. But, you know, the boss to always be, oh, yeah, that's true, he does have a dog. Yeah, I love it. Alright, I want to see... It is! It's on there! Oh, what does it say? I can't... I want to read it. See the landmass in the top right corner. That's that impassable part of the map. Like, you can't climb it. It's a big cliff and you can't climb it. And people are assuming that that's gonna be the DLC area or lead to the DLC area. And it's labeled with something. Oh, I want to see, I want to see a larger version of that map so bad. So bad. Because I, I don't know 100% for sure that it's true, but there's, there's a rumor, there has been for a while, that there was like a whole um, section of Kalos that had to be cut out like a southern callus or something I think is what the fans call it which would actually line up really well with with this because that would be either the southern tip of callus or a smaller region below it that that landmass would if this corresponds to a real world map right like a like a map of the places that Paldea and callus are actually based on um, because callus is is not a very large area compared to what they could have used based on the inspiration, the, the French inspiration. And apparently all this, like, stuff with Zygarde, and I guess even, like, some other legendary Pokemon were supposed to show up there for the first time, too. And, like, we were supposed to get some story stuff there, and it just never happened, it never panned out, because of Crunch, because Crunch sucks. Um, God, I hope that they're actually going to try to give it to us in some form in this DLC. And it really feels like that's the direction they're going. With with this disc Pokemon and its hexagonal plates and the crater that feels like it was made by the by the weapon from Kalos. Uh, it just feels like this game is connected to that one. Also, so many Kalos Pokemon showing up in the regional decks here, too. Like, it makes sense, because, like, um, they're close together geographically, but also, like... That's usually how they hint that content related to a region is coming up soon, right? Very excited, just very excited. Re revisiting old story stuff, that's something the games hardly ever do. Alright, where is my fiancé? Is that her? Hey! Oh, hey, AJ! Great timing. I've been having the hardest time lining up opponents to battle. Yeah, but now I found you in the schoolyard, no less. It'd be silly not to battle. What do you say? Sure. Yeah, I knew I could count on you. Okay. Fade to black. Alright. <laughs> you spent uh, two whole hours battling Pokemon with Nimona. Is that a euphemism for something? <sighs> Good stuff. I uh, gotta step in my game, so I'll be ready any time uh, for that Academy Ace tournament. I know I sprang my battle fever on you out of nowhere. Thanks for being up for it. Okay. So probably not a euphemism for anything, because we were uh, here the whole time. But, you know, in the cafeteria now, alright. I mean, it's getting late in the day. It's about dinner time, so I guess I might as well stop by the cafeteria again. Hey. Oh, he's talking to some guy. Excuse me. So you're good for a battle, right? Great, you need the schoolyard in a minute. Um, excuse me. Uh, hold on, you're Nimona, right? Like the student council president, that Nimona? Yep, that's me. Uh, <laughs> yeah, maybe some other time. AJ, hola. Friend of yours? Oh, him? And to know who he was. Oh, that makes me feel better. I was just munching my sandwich and I heard him bragging about how tough his Pokemon are, so I invited him to battle. I wonder what Pokemon he's going to use. Can't wait to see. Uh, he said no. You, you heard that, right? 
Wait, I forgot to get his contact info. How are we supposed to plan when we'll face off? Oh well, I'll make sure we battle next time I run into him. Anyway, guess you came to get some grub, huh? Well, I'm not one to stand between someone and their meal. Catch you later, and we can eat together. Oh. No, I'm not even hungry anymore. Now I feel like stalking my girlfriend. Okay. Better stock up real good on Pokeballs while I'm here. AJ! Oh my gosh, listen to this. Remember that guy from the cafeteria? Yeah, I do. What was his name? I'd like to go talk to him. I ran into him again in the entrance hall, so I asked him to battle, but he said no. He was like, what's the point? You're a champion and a battle whiz. You'd wreck me. I don't yeah, I get what he meant. I mean, you can have fun battling if you, you lose, right? Um, you can. Some people can't. Uh, winning, yeah, winning's nice, though. Yeah, I guess so. Obviously, I'd rather win than lose, but I just think it's better to go into things with a losing to be fun too attitude. I mean, you'd have to if you keep if you if you keep wanting to be my rival. But man, Pokemon battles can get so complicated sometimes. Oh, and I wish he hadn't called me a whiz. I work hard at this stuff. It's not like it all just comes to me naturally. Yeah, it's not, you're not like me in that way. Like throwing Pokeballs obviously doesn't come naturally uh, to me for one thing. I think I need a mental reset. I need to go find someone to battle. Yeah, you would, wouldn't you? I'll try not to be jealous this time. Don't even have an excuse for being here. I'm just going to leave. Hey. Hey, there you are, AJ. Yeah, I had a feeling you'd turn up if I hung out here for a while. And lo and behold, I was right. You could have just looked for me. Well, now that I've found you, we should swing by my room and have a chat. Absolutely. Here's a room I'd like to get asked back to, says AJ. Okay. Kind of standard. Alright. Trophies and, and medals. And a bunch of Pokeballs sitting in there. Uh, welcome to Zone in Nimona. Uh, it's very you. I wonder what those uh, those certificate-y things are on the wall. Uh, I th dang, uh, wait a sec. I know we've been to your room before. Yeah, we have. But I've never had you over here. Wild. Anyway, uh, listen, AJ. You know how I, well, you know how I really like Pokemon battles? Like, really, really like them? No, I hadn't noticed. Yeah, uh, cool. And yeah, you know how when you really like something, you dive in deep? That's what I did with Pokemon battles, and I just kind of became a champion. Uh, but then I found out that's pretty special, uh, that normally it's not so simple for most people. People would tell me to my face that I'd only managed it because I have some innate gift, or because I was raised differently, or whatever. That's why you don't like talking about your parents, right? And suddenly I started to feel like there was this invisible wall between me and everyone else. So I started going easy when I'd battle my friends. I just want everyone to have fun. Oh, but don't worry. I'm not doing that anymore. I'm going 100% all out. Yeah, that's why you're scaring people. Especially since I'm lucky enough to have an opponent around who can beat me, even when I'm in full hardcore mode. Yeah, I can. So, it's just promise you one thing, okay, AJ? I promise you'll always stay my equal. You and me, true rivals. You know it. Not gonna call us friend. I'm not gonna friend zone her. <laughs> you're the best, AJ. Thank you. Oof, that got pretty personal. A little bit embarrassed over here. Yeah, but we're, like, engaged, so it's fine. Anyway, since we're equals, I gotta start having you over as much as we can hang out in your room. Uh, I would like that. Now feel free to burst into the zone in a moment whenever you want. And get ready for the Academy Ace Tournament, because I'm gonna stomp you this time. No, you're not. But it's cute that you think so. Uh, hey. And do you say anything? I'm making my Pokemon some food. Uh, you know, I think a, a tablespoon means different amounts to different people. It does not. And it almost looked like it was face palming there for a second, but it was just regular animation. That's very funny. Can I see what this is? Meticulous training schedule. Okay. Okay, so... That was this, not this. Yeah, so she's not like a prodigy or, or anything. She just works really hard.
Those, it says those are gym badges, but they don't look like Paldean gym badges. Weird. I want to see. I want to get a look at all the assets for all these characters and all their rooms. Um, that's it for that, though. I'll probably fit that all in one episode, right? Of course, AJ has other things that she wants to get done. But um, I feel like it was important to get that stuff out of the way first.